Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to thank all of those who have purchased a reading with me and to everyone who has commented on my videos. Thank you so much. I don't have time to, uh, to answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment. Um... This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of August going forward. These energies can play out to as much as six months and even outwards to a year. Now, uh, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave the rest, and you should be checking your moon and your rising sign for messages also. So if this doesn't resonate with you, um, go and check those. Now for some of you, some of this may have already happened, and uh, or it's happening now, or it's going to happen. It hasn't happened yet. So as an overall energy, we have the Justice card. This tells me, uh, and from what I see on the table here, you are weighing things up, you're thinking. Okay, and uh, healing from some sort of recent challenge here. This person is healing and they want answers and they are weighing things up. At the, at the bottom of the romantic tarot, uh, I do have the devil. Now, this could be speaking of a Capricorn person or it can be speaking to um, a third energy or a third party that has uh, caused this uh, rupture in this relationship. So when I speak to third party, this could be a person. This could be a, an addiction. This could be somebody who is a workaholic. This could be a meddling in-law, um, just something that would have come in to break you up, okay? Now, at the center of this reading, and this is the central issue uh, for this reading, and it reflects upon every other card because it touches every other card in this reading. We have the moon. Now, the moon speaks to hidden things, uh, can speak to deception, illusions, um, intuition, a need to take a deeper look at things. On that, on that I have the two of coins. Now, um, in this deck, it speaks to change and movement with regards to your love life. It can also, uh, the traditional uh, meaning for the two of coins would speak to not knowing what to do, uh, going back and forth on, on a decision, uh, not knowing which foot to stand on, <clears throat> because there is a lack of clarity. So it's very possible that there was a change in your love life having to do with some sort of deception, but there is a lack of clarity with regards to this. Now, if I go up here, this card here flew out of the deck. This is the Page of Wands. For me, this card indicates uh, news from somebody from your past or a reunion with somebody you know. You could have just bumped into them. Um, but on that card, uh, from the Romantic Tarot, I have the moon here. See that? And this speaks to, um, it can be a meeting, uh, a secret rendezvous. So perhaps you have um, met somebody in secret or you've had news from this person and you are keeping it to yourself. Whatever this situation is, there's some sort of hidden, something hidden here. I feel that 
you would like to express your emotions to this person. This also is a card of um, intuition and the need to uh, follow your intuition, which is another message of the moon. So we know we are speaking about someone from your past. We have the Six of Cups here, and that confirms it, okay? Uh, this could be reminiscing back um, to the good, the fond times, uh, the good memories that you had with that person. And that person could very well be a an earth sign. Um, so that would be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn uh, is very strong here with this devil sitting here. And we have the King of Coins. Now in in this deck, this card would speak to, um, it's like you don't really know what you've lost until you've lost it. And so this person is now in solitary and is thinking about what they feel they've lost. I feel that the page of coins is here uh, either to say that you feel you've learned a lesson for some of you, because there's so many of you out there in so many different situations. Um, for others of you, this can be a message uh, from someone coming out of your past again, which is here, or it can actually be that person uh, you having an actual meeting with that person. Uh, again, we have the King of Coins. I strongly feel this person is this person. Uh, they don't have to be an earth sign, but they would be somebody who um, they could work with money. Um, they are most likely financially secure. They handle money very well. Um, this king has the Midas touch. This king can also be a boss or a could be a businessman. The Queen of Cups. You just want truth and honesty from this person. From your past. Because we have the card of the past again. Okay, again, the Queen of Cups speaks to intuition. You are holding on tightly to the memory of this person. And I feel that you will, with this card, have news from them. Now remember that there is something hidden here. Um, this meeting or this news, um, and for some of you it's going to be the actual event when it happened that caused you a lot of internal struggles. And you are still thinking about it. Okay? Either you made a judgment call or someone else made a judgment call on the relationship. Um, it's possible that if you haven't, that you are thinking about making this judgment call. And you're taking your time to think about it, or you took your time to think about it, you wanted a change. You wanted things to change. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune can also indicate things coming back around, so someone coming back out of your past here. Someone that you have been waiting for.
but there's lack of clarity here. Your heart has been broken by this person, okay? And it's a heavy burden that you have had to carry and you're very tired and weary and you would like to lay that burden down. And this card is saying that you don't have much farther to go. You're almost there. So don't give up. This card here is carried down over here and we see it here. So the same message about carrying a burden. Um, it is the hour of truth with the sun here. And the sun is about facing uh, the truth and getting clarity and this is what you want you want the truth you want clarity and again even if this truth hurts it's what you want you want the clarity and because you see we also we also have the ace of swords and you see it's it's sliced that uh, rose off of the stem and it bleeds so we know that there is some pain here that comes out of this truth. Lack of clarity. Confusion. And this, this has to do with a meeting so, and I have another card of meeting here. So I believe that you do meet up with this person. Um, the tower comes in on this. So this could very possibly indicate a breakup there could be a third person involved here and that might be the truth that you hear. Um, whatever this is, it brings about a transformation and there is a need to sever ties with this energy here. tower is usually something uh, where the foundation is not stable and so the tower comes in to shake things up and to open your eyes so you get clarity. Um, you have the Ace of Cups here and you have in the overall energy here Yeah, you have the uh, Ace of Coins. I'll just look at these now. You have Ten of Swords, the end of a betrayal. Eight of Wands, this is news coming in. This could be, uh, and it's coming fairly quickly. Um, this can also indicate new love coming in. Uh, this could be news about a new beginning also coming in here. It's quite unexpected, this news. I feel it will take you by surprise, whatever this is. A again, so we have news here about a new beginning also, and that's here. Um, some sort of celebration um, your king of pentacles, this Capricorn person has appeared here. I feel that this message comes from this uh, Capricorn person who came out of your past. This is the person who uh, made you feel that way, left out in the cold. It's very possible that you do start things over again, a new start with that person. For others of you, uh, you may just walk away. 
because I do have the five of coins here. That's going to depend on your situation. You finish with a victory card, four of wands. This is taking a relationship up a level. This can indicate uh, engagement, marriage, celebration. And we also have the celebration here. The five of coins, on a more positive note, can also indicate relief coming in. And I think because it's beside the uh, four of wands, I would put a positive spin on that and say that relief is coming in um, with regards to this person, perhaps from the past. Whatever news that he does bring in, um, you are going to think about it. Yeah. So that's it. That's what I got for you, uh, Gemini. If you would like to book a reading, uh, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Um, thank you so much for watching and many blessings to you. Bye for now.